All right, so I thought what would be a nice topic for today, my mom um, needs some shirts, and she, you know, she's 76 years old. She likes to wear a comfortable bra that doesn't have a ton of support in it, but that's what's comfortable for her, and I tried to convince her to buy a more supportive bra, and she's comfortable. So instead of, you know, wearing proper foundation under a shirt, I'm going to create a shirt to fit her shape the way she's comfortable. And this is a topic that I've been talking about in some of my live classes as well, because, you know, it's very common to hear someone who does fitting to say, you have to wear the right bra, you have to wear the right bra. Um, however, if it's not comfortable, then maybe that's not the right bra for you. So, proper foundation, I think I'm moving towards, you know, whatever it is comfortable for you is proper foundation. As long as you're happy with the way you look and you're comfortable, we're going to go with that. Now, in my mom's case, that drops her fullness down. So when she goes shopping for a shirt in a store, what happens is, in order to get it to fit around her bust she has to go to a larger size, and then what happens is her neck and shoulders are too big, and it, it kind of looks, you know, sloppy. Um, or she gets it to fit higher up, and then across her bust, she's it's snug because it's a little bit lower than most shirts are designed um, for it to be. So what I want to do is I'm going to show you the pattern that I made for her based on my initial measurements. Um, I measured her where, you know, the, the, the length um, from her shoulder to where her full bust was. I took a few other simple measurements and I changed, um, I adjusted the pattern and then I made a muslin. wearing her fit muslin with, um, without any sleeves because we weren't ready for that yet. But um, let me just switch views so you can see. Um, this is her front. And what I did to start with is I measured, because this is one of her big fitting issues, I measured, measured from her shoulder to her apex, um, which ended up being down here. And you can see what I did was I had to drop it, um, I think, two and a half inches. So let me just measure... Um, yeah, I dropped it two and a half inches. So essentially, the dart is here, and I cut a box around it. So basically what I did was I cut a box around it. I'll just highlight the box so you can see. It was something like this. Okay, and I slid it down two inches, because originally it was up, the box was up here. So I lowered the dart two and a half inches so it would be more in agreement with her shape. Hi, Anne. Thank you for joining. Um, then what I did was, you can see here this pink line, I closed the dart. Okay, so the dart is closed right here, and it opened here. And you can see it's huge. It opened like four inches at the hem. So it what happened was it winged out the side seam pretty far. So you can see what I did was I actually um, brought it back in. So I chopped it you know, it was way out here, and I basically just cut it off so it was a, a good amount for her full hip. And then, let us let me show you the back. In the back, her the big issue was she has a high round um, curve to her back. And I looked at it, and I looked at the shirt she was wearing, and I decided we needed to add about, you know, an inch and a a little bit to raise that up. So I spread it in three places. So just so you can see what I did. So I added here, here, and here. Okay. So it made a nice curve and I did that. So I added that. Um, and that's what I did in the back so far. What happened when I tried it on her was in the back it was still pulling, and I wish I had taken a picture of it, but basically it looked like this part of her armhole was gaping away. And looking across, 
I think we needed to add a little bit more length and curve a little bit lower. Um, you know, just because these, this particular adjustment is called a high round back, the whole point of the adjustment is to lengthen and shape the center back seam to accommodate your shape if you've got a curve to your spine. Um, the other thing was when she tried it on, the armhole was really low. Now, I want this shirt to be relaxed. I don't want it to look like a fitted shirt on my mother because that's what we're not trying to achieve. So having a little bit of a longer armhole could be okay because it'll be loose. Um, another consideration for my mom is her shoulder really hurts, so it's hard for her to reach back and put her, uh, her hand and her arm in the sleeve. So I don't want to make the armhole too small, but I am going to raise it up three quarters of an inch. And also, um, I have to shorten the shoulder seam about an inch. Because again, if you look at the picture, you can see that the shoulder is hanging off. So let me show you how I'm going to fix these few things that I noticed in her muslin. But I find it easier to draw a guideline that's in the straight part of the, the armhole, so somewhere here, and then through the shoulder like this. And then I'm going to mark my inch. And actually, I think I'm just going to do three quarters. Um, I'm going to do three quarters of an inch away from there. So here's my three quarters. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slash the pattern along the, oops, I'm going to slash the pattern along the lines I drew and I'm going to move it over to my guideline. I really find slashing and then sort of sliding it around makes easier truing up. Okay, so see what this looks like now? Um, so now I'm just going to tape this. Okay, so now I've moved my, I've shortened my shoulder three quarters of an inch. And to fix the armhole, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put some tape right here. I'm going to tape it here. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the difference. So basically, I am going to find the middle of my, the amount I need to true up. And I'm going to start up at the top. And I am just going to gradually, you know, sashay my way over to there. Okay. And then on the bottom of the adjustment, I'm actually going to trim some off. Okay, so there's the new shape of my armhole. I'll just draw it in dark so you can see. Okay, so there's the shape. And I think I'll just cut it. Oh, and then the other thing is to fix the shoulder, I'm going to connect my two original points. So here and here. Let me just reconnect that. Okay, so technically you're splitting the difference there too. Um, it's just a tiny adjustment. Alright, so I'm going to cut this off. Okay, so that's now fixed. And that is now fixed. All right, so that's how the completed armhole looks. Okay. So I'm just going to move it in, and then I'm just going to see if that's going to kind of agree. And I think, um, yeah, I think I'm happy with the way this is. I may need to play with the shape over here a little bit to fine tune it. But I just wanted to check my front to my back. Okay, so now I'm going to tape this. And then to be a little bit smarter this time, I'm going to put my paper like that so I can do everything all on one piece of paper. You know, first, 
I'll true this up first by finding the middle. So I'm going to add a little bit to the top. And I'm going to take away a little bit from the bottom. And see, I want that to be really gradual. Okay. You don't want to make any sharp curves when you're truing stuff up. And then to do the shoulder, I'm going to just put my ruler, again, matching up the original tip of the neck and the tip of the shoulder, and I'm just going to connect those. Okay. And really what that's doing is it really is splitting that little difference in there. I know it's hard to see. It's a tiny, it's a little tiny piece that we're adding, but it does make it nice and neat. So now I'm going to cut this away. Cut this away. All right, so I've shortened the shoulder. And again, the reason why I'm raising the base of the armhole is because when she was wearing it, it the, the, the very base here was hanging down too low. All right, so that's why I'm making this adjustment. So I'm just going to go over here. Oh, see, I could have combined these adjustments too. I'm just going to slash where I slashed for the shoulder adjustment. And I'm just going to measure three quarters of an inch. And then we're going to pick that up. This could also be known as petiting. You know, this if you have a petite shape, you would have to pick this fabric up too. Um, but picking it up also raises the armhole. 